Scientists have been able to grow a tiny human brain in a lab. Yes, it's as crazy as it sounds. Just a couple weeks back, Chastity showed you some amazing recent developments involving 3D printed kidneys and lab grown hearts. Well, now scientists have engineered a tiny version of what's considered the most complex and mysterious human organ, that is, the brain. So how do you grow a tiny brain in a lab and how much of a brain is it really? Well, the process involves first reprogramming adult skin cells to behave like embryonic stem cells. Then those cells are placed in a bath of nutrients that are believed to aid brain development and oxygen. In under a month, they had grown to between three and four millimeters meters across and had naturally organized themselves into regions of the brain, early versions of the cortex, hippocampus, and retinas. Absent though was the cerebellum, which is the part of the brain that deals with language and motor skills. The pea-sized mini brains are developmentally speaking roughly equivalent to a nine-week-old fetus. And although the structures are not capable of thought, imaging techniques did indicate some form of neural activity in the structures. The mini brains, which the scientists call organoids, have since survived for a year but did not grow any larger than four millimeters, and they aren't connected to any blood supply. And as we mentioned, it doesn't think independently. But they've already been used to study a disease called microcephaly, which causes stunted brain growth, and scientists say that the organoids could someday be used to study more common conditions like autism and schizophrenia. The breakthrough is mind-boggling in the words of one professor, Paul Matthews of Imperial College London, or in the words of people on my Facebook page, stunning or just doomed, or delicious. Hey, to each his own. What's your take? Let us know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more. For TFN, this is Annie.